this is the importance of a loop knot see that loop knot that I have tied in that jig now we're vertical jigging that's the technique we're using right now now let's look at this being that I have a loop knot tied in here look what happens now y'all see how that jig is flattened out in the water it's horizontal just like a minner swim see that look how quick it okay look it's vertical now it hits the water now it's horizontal just like a minner swims now look at the action on that elastic elastic is very very buoyant much more than than just regular plastic and that right there is deadly deadly when it comes to vertical jigging i want y'all to know that that loop knot is definitely the key it's definitely the key very important now i'm going to use this catfish hook this is a 10 alt circle hook i'm just going to use it to demonstrate but remember it's a crappie jig just run the line through there this is how quick this is look folks it's simple run this hook once twice three times look we're done done grab it by the eyelet cinch down close as you can and then cinch the knot towards the, the eyelet right there well in reality on a crappie jig you can get it within an eighth of an inch from the actual eyelet quickest knot known to man what i'm using today is a Z-Man Baller Z, I believe is the name of the jig. This is the Cajun Cricket, and I'm also using a Z-Man head right here, one thirty-second of an ounce. Now, what I have right here is a loop knot tied into this jig head right here. We need that freedom because we're going to be doing a lot of vertical jigging, probably. Now, I have a six-pound test fluorocarbon leader on here, one of about six feet long. This is eight-pound test braid, high-vis braid, Daiwa 2500 size reel, and a sow belly rod. This is a light-action rod, and I believe this one it was six and a half feet six and a half feet light power i just located a few crappie right in behind this column right here in front of us there he is that that crappie hit it on the fall that's a good fish right here doggone good fish let's see if we can flip him now there we go now we're getting into some good eating right here now folks Yes, sir. Re. Quit, 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 quit. That's a 12 inch crappie at least. That's the fillet in type on it. Let's put him in the bucket. Okay. There's two pretty good crappie. I tell you what, dialing the delt in is the big thing. It's a big deal when it comes to crappie fishing. If you can get their depth dialed in, you can absolutely catch the fish. I mean, that's the biggest part of it. Recognizing the fact that there's bait fish, uh, in the area, that's gonna be number one. Figuring out the, how deep the crappie are. That's the second thing. And of course the color. And this Cajun Cricket color is always a good color when it comes to crappie fishing. I don't care if it what the water clarity is. I've always had a lot of success with the color crate uh, Cajun Cricket. There he is. That's a good crappie right here, folks. That's a good one. Another good one. Let's flip him in here. My, 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 my. We're on a good pattern right here. These fish is anywhere between 
10 and 12 feet deep. And that's what I'm talking about. Very, very important to get you a pattern going. These big lakes, it's the utmost importance that you get you a pattern. But there we go, there's three. There's a lot of bait anywhere from eight to 14 feet deep. And that's why these crappie are suspended. They're gonna stay right in there close to the same level as them shad. Especially, especially in the fall. All right, folks, let's, let's get a good visual on that rod tip right there. Now I have this bait at the correct depth. I'm around 11 feet deep. Now remember, I've been fishing anywhere from 10 to 12 feet deep. Okay. Now, all I'm doing, I know that's the depth. That's the depth they're in now and have been. I've caught four crappie and they've all been in that depth. Now, all I'm doing is holding it there, twitching it. Okay. Twitching it. Keeping it right in front of their face. Now, every once in a while, I'll drop it down like that. I'll let it free fall. Now, a lot of times, that's what it takes to get the strike. But most of the time, remember, a crappie is normally a lazy fish. If he sees a minner that's in distress, like I'm working this jig right here, it's in distress. It's slow. It can barely move. That is an easy meal for a crappie. And a crappie, the way they're designed, that's perfect. That fits their um, that fits their, their their mood. Might be the best way to say it. It fits their way way of looking at a meal. Let me put it that way. There he is. Oh my, 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 my! This is another good crappie. Okay. Let's flip him in here, another keeper. I hadn't caught a fish yet, folks, that ain't a keeper. Of course, this is just number four right here. Number four, probably about close to 11 inches probably, but just good eating size fish. My, my, my. I've changed up colors right here just a little bit. This is <laughs> always gonna be a good color. This is a a pearl baller z now by the way these are two inch baits i've been fishing with them quite a bit here lately um i've been skipping them under docks but they're also a very very effective bait to fish vertically great color for cropping and it don't make any difference whether it's muddy stained or clear it will work folks yeah, we went down there, we hunted down there two or three days, and I seen the mountain lion too. Uh, twice, I went on to the house, I was gonna mess with those damn things like that. You know what, what I'm saying. There's another one. Golly, come on out of there. Another big old crappie. Ain't that something? Let me flip him on in here. They. I'm talking about they. Totally different. Different pattern. I love these baller Z's. I'm going to tell y'all why. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Right here. Let's get that crappie back in there in the bucket. I'm excited. Look at that. Hey, I'm excited. Because even on a straight retrieve, which I've mentioned before, see that little ball right there? It does this number right here, that back and forth. And crappie cannot stand that. Let's try that again, see if there's another. All of them's been in just one little bitty tight place. And that's typical of crappie. They'll do that every time. And I got bit right there on the fall.
There he is. Now, my, my, my. I want y'all to look right here. Whoa. Dog gone. Whoa. There's still some fish up under there. All right, let's flip him in. Oh, my, 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 my. That's how you do it right there. That's one of the ways that I do it. I don't rely just on one particular pattern. They could be several different things happening on your lake on the same day, on the same given day. And that's just the fact about crappie fishing. Now, this, this water right here is, uh, well, look, we're even with where I'm catching. Look at there. Ten feet of water. Ten feet of water. And the uh, water temp has warmed up to 77 degrees on top since we've started. <laughs> and it's a totally different pattern. There he is. Come on out of there. Come on out of there. Get in this boat. Yep. What I done right here, folks, is change colors. This is the Cajun Cricket with a different color head. And that's all it took right there. What I'm saying is the fish quit biting. They absolutely quit. So when they do that, you can either change profiles of jigs or you can just change colors and get another bite or two or three. Well, folks, I ended up catching enough fish for Mama Sue and I to have supper tonight. I believe I have eight or ten crappie in there. That's good enough. I'm going to let that go. Now, today, or the last couple hours, I fished two different patterns, and we caught fish both ways. Now, it, it's possible when it comes to crappie fishing, no matter what lake, that you can have five or six different patterns or more. It's very, very possible. Crappie fishing is just that way. They are where you find them. And normally, they'll always be, well, around shad. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments everything y'all do for this channel i appreciate and love each and every one of y'all hey oh okay the adrenaline is it's, it's like 150 percent if i had something i'd tear it up i'd bro whoa hey man Remember, don't fish when you can, but all this good food is